in today's video, we're going to be doing a full showcase of the two take one VIP mod menu. Guys, this is the best mod menu that money can buy. If you guys have any interest in picking up this mod menu or any mod menu, make sure you guys use the link down in the description. It'll take you over to wickedgamers.com. That's gamers with a Z. If you use code wicked at checkout, you'll get 5% off. All right, guys, not wasting any more time. It is the minus sign on your keyboard to open up this mod menu. Starting in the player section here, this is where you guys have the super useful things you guys are going to use every time you guys get into GTA Online. That includes God Mode, things like Lawless Mode, which is just no cops mode, Invisible Mode, pretty uh, self-explanatory there what that does, Anti-NPC, Player visibly locally. So basically what this does, if you have invisible turned off right now or invisible turned on, it's going to look to the rest of the world like you're invisible. But because you have player visibly locally turned on, you can see yourself. So that is, uh, that's super cool. Let me make sure I think I have God mode turned on here just in case I uh, start getting griefed. Other cool things in here that you can turn on. If you turn on super run, just like this. Uh, wait, did I turn it off? Uh, interesting. Super run's not working. Okay. Uh, super, what am I doing wrong? Come on, Rockstar. What are we doing here? All right, this one. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we got it working. All right, guys. I was just being an idiot. Sorry. Excuse my, uh, excuse my idiocy or Id idiocy. Yep. Sure. Yeah, that. All right, guys. Continuing on here, you do have the cool things like super flight and super jump. You turn this on. Basically, you're just going to jump across the map. The faster you run coming into it and jump, the higher you're going to go. Pretty cool. Let me show you guys the next thing up here. Super melee, super melee, as people call it. Let me uh, let me run over here. If we have this enabled here and we uh, we kick our car, well, as you guys can see, uh, it gets pretty destructive pretty quick. Oh, I missed. I missed. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, God. That's uh, that's not good. Let me turn that off real quick. Next next option here, seatbelt. If you have seatbelt enabled and you guys are on your uh, your motorcycle, uh, a BMX bike, a car, you guys are going a million miles an hour down the road and you guys run into another car, seatbelt is going to keep you from getting thrown off of that bike or out of your car. Really, really, uh, really important option. Also, infinite stamina. This is self-explanatory too. If you guys are running across the map for some reason, uh, yeah, infinite stamina will make it so that your character does not get tired. Also, we got this little tiny character option here. Pretty cool. You can actually see the footsteps on the ground <laughs> he's just levitating there you can also uh edit uh how much damage your character does your melee damage and your vehicle uh uh, uh vehicle damage modification as well they also have this thing called air walks so then basically i think if we just like get on top of this car here yeah as you guys can see we're just uh we're floating in the air right now so you can basically walk off of any building and uh, it'll just start working on fire if you guys are into that uh, uh what was that what was that video back in the day, that movie, Ghost Rider? If you guys ever watched Ghost, Ghost Rider when you guys were a kid, write it down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. That was one of my favorite uh, favorite uh, uh, movies growing up. And then also here we do have the suicide option if you're looking to kill yourself. Continuing on here, we have the vehicle god mode. You guys have that enabled. It's going to make it so that your uh, your vehicle essentially does not blow up. And then also a semi-god mode or, an, or, or demi-god mode as they call it. Then you have your auto repair and your... Uh, uh, repair and your auto repair. I don't know if it'll actually let us get any of these. I think these are all blown up, so we won't be able to bring any of these ones back to life. But basically, just makes it so that your car never gets scratched. Make sure you guys have God mode enabled when you guys get into GTA Online. You don't want your car getting all screwed up. The other really cool thing here, we actually might be able to show you guys. Actually, you know what we'll do? Let me spawn a vehicle real quick. Uh, vehicle compact sure this is what we want so if you guys have this enabled here and you guys just go to performance upgrade you guys can see it squatted it uh, that actually looks pretty dope you can also just do upgrade oh my god this thing looks absolutely sick oh my god yo volkswagen bug for the win yo that's actually that's crazy cool so then they do have other really cool things in here like super drive and super jump if you guys want to see what super drive does i will turn it on and uh i will show you as you guys can see uh, we are oh god uh, yeah, okay, well, you get it. You get the point here. Oh, no, pull your shoot, man. All right, hopefully that bug doesn't come land on me. Ah! All right, we got it. Uh, so the other cool things in here, you can make your car go invisible. You can use a rainbow paint modification on it. You know, I really should have kept a vehicle out for us to, uh, for me to show you guys some of these different things on here. So if you guys have that enabled there, you basically turn your rainbow on and it makes it so that, uh, you know, your, your car just continues, uh, changing colors. The other really cool things here that I love messing around with is the acceleration. You turn the acceleration up quite a bit, just makes it super, 
super fast. Oh wait, we have super drive enabled. Let me turn that off so we can give you guys a little more accurate representation. Basically just makes it so that your car has a stupid, stupid amount of power. The other things in here, you can adjust your upshift rate, how fast the vehicle literally just shifts up, your brake force, how much traction your vehicle has. You can also edit the gravity effect on the vehicle. That is a really cool option there. Then you can adjust things like your uh, two take one uh, uh, oppressor rockets or two take one. Oh, sorry guys. Uh, your your oppressor mark two infinite rockets enable that it'll make it so you have infinite rockets you also have options in here like no uh no collision it'll let you put your uh your roof of your vehicle up or down edit your lights and then a couple other this down here the vehicle mod section this is your uh mobile lsia or god my, my talking today is not very good uh your mobile los santos customs basically you come in here and uh, you can put a turbo on you can get the Exion lights the put different tires on you can also get your drift tires in here all really cool options there. Then coming down here to the model changer, you can do female, young, whatever you want. You can get that business look, business two, East SA, uh, fitness, you wanna be a fitness model, no problem, we got it. You can also be hot, you wanna be hot, no problem. Also a golfer, all right, no problem. Uh, hiker, hippie, there's like literally hundreds of options on here. You wanna be from Vinewood, no problem, we got you. You wanna be a, a <laughs> a factory worker, a hostess, a yoga person. Yeah, we're going to be a yoga person. They also got some other options down here. If you guys want to be sexy, you can obviously be a, uh, a stripper. Yeah. But for the rest of this video, I don't want to get, uh, I don't want to get, I don't know, demonetized or so. We're just going to leave the, the sexy stuff off. So also in here, you have the, uh, um, uh, your outfit section. None of these will work because we're using a character who's not our own, but basically this is uh, just, uh, you can come in here and give yourself a police outfit, a trash green outfit, trash orange, or you can become Santa Claus. But as you guys can see, because we're not using our actual character, we can't actually change it. Um, so those are all really cool options there. Coming down here to animations. If you come in here, you can do pole dances. You can do a pole dance two, a pole dance three. You can do the wiggle wiggle. It folds, you know what I'm saying, boys? Uh, you can do that Shaq male, wh whatever. <laughs> Shaq female? What? Uh, uh, oh my, oh my God. Okay, all right, that's uh, that's cracked, yo. That's horrible. All right, continuing on here, you do have your teleport section here. This is where I like to come in here. I like to come in here. You can go to businesses automatically. You can do custom stuff. You want to go to the, the nuclear waste facility, uh, no problem, or nuclear waste uh, location on the map you got there. Under a bridge, no problem. This is over a bridge though i think oh, oh my god okay uh and then other things down here you can do the monkey mosaic the monkey mosaic man i'm having a hard time speaking but there's just a lot of uh really cool places you can just like teleport to randomly on the map um pretty pretty awesome there let me get to a place that i pref prefer let's go to uh uh ooh, my apartments no we don't want to do that shops ammunition yeah uh okay we'll just we'll pretend that never happened uh let's go to the garment factory come on oh no i'm inside god this is failing uh business auto shop no <coughs> sorry all right excuse me excuse me i'm gonna set a waypoint on the map and we're going to teleport there just like that. Now I need to give myself a new character because when you die, when you have a model changer enabled, uh, it basically just makes it so that you, uh, uh, your character just disappears and never comes back. I don't know why they do that, but nonetheless, they do. All right, continuing on here, we got through the animations a little bit there. Um, next down here, we went through the teleport section. The aim assist, if you guys wanna have no recoil, no bullet spread at all, you wanna have a trigger bot enabled, no problem, you can do that. Um, you want to have, uh, just aimbot in general. I don't know if this will actually work on. Oh yeah, it is shooting automatically up oh, and it, did it actually get there? Nope. Okay. It is shooting by itself, but it doesn't look like it's being, uh, being very accurate. <coughs> oh God, the air is drying here. Um, all right, anyways, so they do have a really good aim assist in here. Also, weapons. All you guys need to know about this is you guys want to come down to the weapon loadout, hit enable loadout, and you're going to get every freaking vehicle in the game. Don't forget, or every freaking gun in the game. All of the guns, uh, including Mark II weapons, which are really important. You guys know, got to have those Mark II weapons in GTA Online. Other cool things you can do here, the teleport guns. You just, like, shoot, like, a spot on the ground, and it'll just teleport you to it. Pretty cool, pretty quick and awesome. If you want to get around the map kind of quick with your friends, it's kind of a cool way of doing it. Also, the vehicle gun. You guys know what it is. If you guys have seen some of my shorts, I'm always uh, rocking the vehicle gun. I have a ton of fun with that thing. Um, let's fill this thing up with, uh, oh my God. Uh, so just a lot of fun there with the vehicle gun. Continuing on here, the weather section. I like to have the clock paused. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. 
Basically, you come in here, set it at to uh, you know whatever time you want, and just hit pause clocks. You want it to be like uh, sunset all the time. I gotta turn that off. Uh, there we go. Uh, so what's sunset? 19 o'clock? <laughs> I guess so. Um, so that actually does look pretty cool there. And then you can also come in here and just uh, override the weather to like, you know, whatever you know, overcast, foggy, whatever you want. Tons of options there, really cool. Other things, actually let me turn that back to the pause clock so we don't by accidentally, uh, so we don't by accidentally uh, go into the darkness. We don't want that. So they do have a Lewis script section here. I don't mess around with Lewis scripts and never really cared for them, but you, they do have the option for them. Other things you guys wanna know about in the miscellaneous section here, this is where you can enable things like no clip, so now you guys can see that I have it turned on on my mouse and keyboard. I can just, you know, kind of float around the map. And uh, that's a pretty cool option. Again, I don't use it a lot. They do have chaos, chaos mode here. This should pick all the vehicles up around me and like slam them on the ground. There's uh, Armageddon, Mayhem, tons of options here. Uh, you can do a black hole. Um, you can also do, oh God, they're freaking out. <laughs> they're freaking out. Yo, is that an egg? Oh my God. It looks like there's an egg floating. That must be the... I gotta get out of here before this gets ugly, man. This is a, oh, oh, oh no, oh no, 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 no. I don't wanna die, I'm too young. All right, continuing on here, they do have things though like drive to waypoint. So if you get in a vehicle and hit that, it's just automatically gonna drive you to that waypoint. A pretty cool option there. Disabling phone calls, really good. That's better than disabling the phone. Cause if you disable your phone, you actually can't open it. But if you have disable phone calls enabled, you'll still be able to use your phone. That's the option that's really only in the two take one mod menu. Then the other things down here you guys wanna know about the, uh, the basically just to move the menu around. That's the only important thing in here um but you know just nice to have you know be able to move around the other thing i forgot about in here skip cutscene a must have in all mod menus if it doesn't have it don't buy the mod menu make sure it has a skip cutscene option because you want to be able to get through uh you know just you know agatha at the casino or resort when you start that or any of the uh heists they you know just just trust me, get it. All right, guys, coming over here now to the online section. This is where you guys do have all of your griefing and friendly options that you can do to other people in GTA Online. But if you guys wanna see videos like that where I grief people or do things like that, you guys are gonna have to subscribe to the Wicked Mods channel because I don't do the, any of that griefing or any of that stuff on this channel. This channel is a very clean channel. So just keep that in mind. But anyways, uh, continuing on here, if you guys come down here, I know you guys are gonna wanna know about the recoveries. If you guys come down here to the recovery section, you guys can, in, uh, you can basically do this uh, RP loop, which basically just spawns uh, five stars and five stars off over and over and over again. And basically that just gives you a ton of levels and it's very safe to do. But if you guys wanna know about making money, Okay, so if you come over to the casino uh, section here, you guys have the blackjack, bust the house, roulette, power of one, and rig the lucky wheel. Rig the lucky wheel, first of all, very uh, obvious. You just pick whatever you want, enable it, and you'll get that next time you spin the wheel. Roulette, power of one. If you enable roulette, power of one, it's always gonna hit the one on the roulette board. So you just put your money on one every single time you'll hit it. The blackjack option, a little bit more complicated, whatever your bet is on blackjack, whatever your first cards are, don't hit, even if it's a seven, don't hit it, just hit uh, bust the house. And essentially what that's gonna do is that's gonna make it so that the dealer thinks that they always have a low number and they're just gonna keep hitting and getting another card until they go over every single time. So that's pretty cool here. The business manager, everyone loves to take one because it has the best and the cleanest business manager on the market. All you have to do is own a business and then enable uh, business manager here. And it's basically just going to, um, uh, just run those businesses for you. It's gonna resupply them, it's gonna sell them, it's gonna do all the work and keep your goods safe. So that's really cool. And that is why people love the two take one business manager. Also though, so in here, like I said, you can just come in here, unlock stats, unlock tattoos, whatever you want. As you guys can see, I just got one there. Um, but they do have your protections automatically enabled uh, in here. So you don't have to come in here and enable anything when you guys, when you guys get online. Your protections are automatically enabled, which is really cool. Then the final section over here, if you guys come over two vehicles you can come in here actually well this is what it looks like when you go to the spawning section you guys usually just come in here to vehicles you go down to muscle you want the nightshade that's one of my favorite muscle cars in the game you can come down here get the vapid hustler uh that that moonbeam if you know what i'm saying uh the slam uh whatever that <laughs> vapid truck is right there but obviously they do have all of your supers in here as well the vigilante uh the pagasi torero 
the Tyrus, Osiris. Man, they're actually starting to, to rhyme. But just a bunch of really cool cars here. It's that millionaire lifestyle. You guys know what it is. All right, guys, though, that's it for this video. If you guys like this kind of stuff, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button, the bell, the subscribe button, all those good things. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Yeah.